So as we all know, uh, the Apollo 11 anniversary, it's upon us. Maybe it's brought out your inner astronomer, I don't know, Houston Life correspondent Lauren Kelly. She's out at Lancy and Sky in Montrose with some ideas for us all. Yeah, she's learning what you can do to get closer at the moon. Hi, Lauren. Hey guys, well, if you can't see the moon with your naked eye, or maybe you don't have a set of binoculars handy, Lancy and Sky is the place to come. Look at these beautiful telescopes all around me. I'm gonna tell you all about them, but since I'm a beginner, I'm gonna take you to the owner right here. Chris Heisinger owns this place with his wife, Marcy, and you guys have owned it since 2016. Chris, thank you for having us here today. Thank, thank you for coming. Since I am a amateur astronaut, we found out earlier this week, <laughs> I wanna look at the sky. I love space. I love the stars and the planets. As a beginner, what would you recommend for me telescope wise? Well, really any of these telescopes right here would be perfect starter scopes for a novice. Um, these are uh, reasonably priced and would give you excellent views of the moon or the planets or even some deep space objects. Oh, can I take a look through this yeah, one right here? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. It's a little bit cloudy today. I know you mentioned so it might be a little bit hard, but I can get the gist of it. That's a nice telescope. Does that come in pink? No, no. unfortunately oh, not. Okay. We're stuck with the color that I'm ready So tell me the difference between these long barreled telescopes and these base telescopes that look a little bit wider and thicker on the bottom. So the, 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 the long barrel telescopes are what are called refractors. They use lenses to amplify and focus the light. Okay. These white ones here are reflectors uh, and they use a mirror to do the same thing. Okay. Uh, there's some trade-offs. The, the, the reflectors tend to be bigger, which may not work for some people, but the they're also cheaper to manufacture, so generally you get a bigger telescope for your money. Okay. Well, speaking of money, if you just have, you know, gallons of money coming out your pockets, you want like the king of telescopes. Tell us about the big one over here, the Takahashi Telescope. Look at look at this. Look so, at this. So Takahashi is a Japanese brand. We're the distributor for North and South America. They are handmade, 100% in Japan. They're really the Rolls Royce of amateur telescopes. It doesn't get much better than this. Tell us about this one because this one you had some great video that you shot of Jupiter. So this is a four-inch um, uh, oh, refractor. So cool. It is um, designed for taking um, photographs of the night sky, okay. and um, it, it really excels wow. at either looking at planets or um, deep sky objects like uh, nebula and galaxies. Oh, but we have to be careful not to stare straight at the sun, right, that, Chris? That absolutely. You should <laughs> never, <laughs> never look at the sun that. unless you have the right equipment. Well, thank you for sharing your information with well, us. Thank you so much. If you guys want some more information, just log on to landseaskyco.com, and you can pick out yourself a pretty little telescope right here. I can just grab a really nice pair of binoculars as well. We could so, use that Derek now Courtney, I because think of the full moon yeah. happening. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, yes. when I was a kid, yes. I'm obsessed with telescopes. That yeah. is so cool, Lauren. By the way, we will be checking back in with Lauren a little later on in today's show. Such cool. Hey guys, Land, Sea, and Sky on Richmond is where we're at right now. And they've got, like I said, the telescopes galore. They've got the huge ones down to the binoculars and the telescopes we've gotten for beginners. I've gotten my lesson in that, but something really cool. Owner Chris, you're gonna tell me about this very fancy device that you can actually attach your cell phone to this telescope. That's right. This is the cell phone adapter, okay. which allows you to take any, just about any cell phone on the market today and attach it to the eyepiece of the telescope so that when you look through the telescope, you can actually see the image on your cell phone and you can take video or pictures. You can, and then you can save that and you can just put it on your computer and post it Social to socials. Social media or whatever, yeah. And it's, is it just as crystal clear as if you were looking through this right here? Yeah. I mean, generally, yes. If okay. you have a good camera on your cell phone, you should get a good image. This is the phone attached to the telescope, but That's we right. mentioned that it also can attach to a pair of binoculars. That's right. And you we have one set up right here, and it just so happens that we have an astronaut that's, oh my God, we can see into space. Look at that. This is the best cell phone adapter I've ever seen, Chris. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> LandSeaSkyCo.com if you want all the information. We're over here on Richmond today. Chris, the owner, thank you so much. You thank your you wife so have much been for great. coming. If you ever need a telescope, whether it's this size, whether it's that size, a set of binoculars, or the king of telescopes, the Takahashi, they got you covered right here. Thank you again for having thank us. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Derek and Courtney. That looks like so much fun. So cool. Lauren, thanks so much for that. And for more information on land, sea, and sky, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.